Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure. Check this out, 2022 Grand Design Solitude 390 RK. Five slides, three on the right, and then two slides on the curbside of the RV. Look at the size of this beast. So here are the uh, couple of bullet points. It has five slides, as I, raised, as I mentioned, raised rear kitchen. When you see the kitchen, it's gonna blow you away. Dual sink vanity in the bathroom, bar top with chairs, four door refrigerator, exterior sliding storage tray. Here we can see we've got plenty of options on this. And here we get a great look at the Cooper tires. These are, these are Cooper H rated 17 and a half inch tires. Love the uh, look of the five spoke, split spoke wheels. We have six point hydraulic leveling system and when you see the storage it has ample storage when you see the storage of this beast it's uh it's amazing so we have tw over twenty five thousand dollars worth of options there's a slideable tree tray that i uh, mentioned earlier and we have the uh, solitude residential living package solitude solitude peace of mind package i already mentioned the uh, cooper tires 18 cubic foot uh, refrigerator and that's a four door bedroom tv fireplace 12 volt tanker tank heaters already mentioned the six point leveling system cotton decor third ac unit which is a 15,000 btu king size bed and the rvia seal there you can see the ladder that goes to the rooftop it's pre-wired for rear camera there's one of the leveling points, and you can also see the black water drain, the bottom of one of the five slides. Yes, five slides. I know I mentioned that already, but when you see the inside, you'll see where all these slides come in. It's just a, it's an amazing RV, great floor plan. When we walk in, you'll see, uh, see what I mean about the floor plan. Love that slide right there. That's in the living room. So you can see it's got a big picture window and then two side windows, and these are frameless windows. Really makes a difference when you're on the inside. Let's go ahead and step up, open the door, and check out this amazing RV. So as we step inside, immediately to your left, you can see the living room, and then the kitchen is in the rear of the RV, and I'll get up there in a few moments. But first, we have to take a spin around so this sleeps six, five slides, rear kitchen, center living, and front bedroom. Here we have the theater seating and the armrest, great place to hide your remote. Put your cell phone, if it's the weekend, you wanna get away from everything and every one, throw your cell phone in there and be done with it. There's one of the slides for the couch there that folds out to a bed. Love the flat screen TV. There you can see one of the AC units, one of the three, as well as uh, ducted HVAC. And you can also see the uh, interior speakers. So here's some of the cabinetry. We have cabinets galore. So storage capacity of this unit is more than ample. I was about to say ample, but it's beyond ample. As we step up and take a look at this kitchen. So check out that... Uh, bar here with the chairs and it faces the flat screen tv and or the fireplace so depending on what mood you're in you can sit and watch the fire or sit and watch tv watch a uh, game on the weekend really a, a beautiful microwave here so this kitchen is just so well appointed the gross vehicle weight is 16.8, dry weight is 14.5, length is 41 and a half, width 8.5, height 13.5, dual bowl stainless steel, deep stainless steel kitchen sink with covers. You know, these covers are so nice. Uh, I'm surprised we don't see more of that in residential homes just to give you more counter space and give you that clean look that you have in this RV as I open up more cabinets and show you the uh, amazing amount of storage. We have a center island with uh, full length drawers, cabinets, power. 
So the uh, hitch weight is 2794, and then I'm going to rattle off the tanks as I open up the uh, four door refrigerator. So we have fresh gray and black tanks, 93, 106. Yes, gray tank, 106, black tank, 53. Here's the uh, refrigerator and the freezer, 18 cubic feet. So it's a residential style refrigerator freezer with the uh, French doors. So it has that little compartment on the refrigerator side. Hot water heater is a 12 gallon hot water heater, 7,000 pound axles. It's a tandem axle, uh, tandem axle RV. As we take another look around the kitchen, there's your center island. So these are solid surface countertops. Here's your residential style and size oven and cooktop. You can put your trays in here, plenty of room for your trays. Four burner. And there's the solid surface countertops and then the beautiful black backsplash which is the uh, random setting of the white tiles more cabinets more drawers subway is the uh, subway tiles that's what I was trying to think of couldn't put my mind on it solid wood drawers On the awning uh, outside, we have a 16-foot power awning with LED lighting. There you can see the AC units. So there are three AC units in the uh, RV. All are 15,000 BTU. Do you know what BTU stands for? Leave a comment below if you know what BTU stands for. Just love the size of that window. Really lets the light in and the uh, view is, is wonderful as well. Now check out these cabinets. Look how deep they are. You know, often you see these cabinets and there's enough room to hang a hoodie. You've got a, a, a rod in there that you can hang jackets with clothes hangers and just a tremendous amount of space. Probably the most space I've seen in an RV. And here are all your controls for your lighting, your slides, and additional storage. 50 amp service, a vacuum so you can sweep things right up, open the vacuum door and sweep it right in there. Two 30 pound LP bottles, solar prep. Here's your dual sinks in your um, vanity in your bathroom, his and hers, hers and his. What's mine is mine, and what's mine is what's yours is mine, or vice versa. Here's your medicine cabinet. So you have medicine cabinets on both sides, and a uh, a tremendous exhaust fan to exhaust those steamy moisture from when you take a hot shower. Even in the summer, I like to take a hot shower. I got a week back. I noticed it about a week back, and just try to take a hot shower quite often. Here's the other vanity medicine cabinet. So his and hers. So dual sinks and nice deep storage here. So you have plenty of room for your towels and any of your other items. A sit down shower with uh, teak wood so it will hold up last and last. Check out all the, the uh, shower heads plus a handheld wand. Well, another shower check and this one passed with flying colors. You have a uh, body massage, shower heads. So the baskets are great for putting uh, sponges or uh, hanging your washcloth, keeping your soap in there so it doesn't get all uh, wet and, and uh, sloppy. Good looking guy in the mirror. Thumbs up on that one. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up. Give us a comment below. 
I'm feeling really generous. I'm going to go ahead and lift the limit on the comments below. So for today only, you can leave as many comments as you like as we take a look at the uh, the the uh, top of the dresser. You can keep your valuables in there, uh, your jewelry, flat screen TV. And then here's an additional extremely large closet that's pre-plumbed for your washer and your dryer pre-wired as well, or you can use it for hang-up clothes. And then we also have this walk-in closet here with the dual doors with mirrors. And then there's plenty of room in here. Shelving, the lower shelves are great for your shoes. And then we have additional shelving, your rod, your curtain rod or your uh, clothes rod rather. I keep calling it curtain rod in all my videos consistently make that mistake king size bed shelves for your CPAP or charging station for your electronic contrivance but again you're supposed to leave your cell phones in the center of your couch that I showed you in the living room pull out storage underneath the bed so this king size bed is one of the slide outs so it slides out on the side of the RV just want to open this up. I didn't do a good job showing you the first time here, so let me show you a little bit better. Plenty of storage. One of the three AC units. you got to have one of those in your bedroom. If you're like me, you like to sleep when it's chilly. Drop that temperature down. Speaking of dropping down, we're going to go ahead and take a couple steps down to the family room. Take one more look around. There's where your cell phone is in case you forgot, but you don't need that. Little W&W &W for the weekend. What a very impressive RV. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching. I had a lot of fun shooting this RV. This is a really special RV. I hope you liked it as much as I did. Leave a comment below. How much do you like this RV?